Greetings, automotive enthusiasts. Today, we have for you a really cool little car. It is a 2014 Fiat 500E. Uh, that means electric, fully electric car. It's a 2014 model, and it, uh, it's got about 41,000 miles on it. Do a little walk around here. It shows zero accidents or damage via Carfax. And uh, these are just really cool little cars. They're rated at like 122 MPGE, like 116 average. So that's some sort of electric rating that they got. This was a really neat car. Um, this thing was about 34,000 bucks new. So they were not cheap. And this color combo is just the coolest. It's a uh, electric orange tri-coat metallic pearl coat uh, with the steam white interior. Uh, we had the pearl white one with orange accents before this one, but this one here is uh, is kind of the reverse of that. But a super cool little car. We'll go ahead and zoom in here and show you the details. Uh, and there's just little nicks and scratches and stuff, you know, various stuff all over the car. But we'll go ahead and point out what we see here. But, you know, it's a uh, car's meant to be driven. Little scratch there on the bumper. Little nick right there. Little scratch there by the marker. The lance looks pretty good. A little bit of curb rash there on that valance. The unfortunate front tag bracket. <laughs> you know, I always hate those. But uh, coming across the front here, just, you know, a little bit of uh, road rash. Not much, though. These are mostly city cars. You know, they've got a range. When you fully charge this car, it's got about, uh, usually shows about 96, 98 miles on its range on a full charge. It charges uh, 220, or sorry, 240 and 110. So, uh, Charges pretty fast on the uh, on the 240, um, and then like here, got a little crack right there in that little front spoiler 500D, and this is pearl white here too. So you got that really cool, and you have to look at pictures that I took in the uh, picture gallery on the website. It uh, this in the sun, this thing is just amazing, and then you see the walk around, you see it in the sun too. So you kind of do get an idea there, or whatnot. But uh, yeah, so talking about the little car there, it. Uh, across the hood looks nice and clean uh, unfortunately van goes kind of backed up you know uh, this thing would look really really cool polished out but uh, we're not gonna do that on this car because like I said this car is just gonna be driven we're daily driving this car so if you want to see it be sure to make an appointment because we do have it at the house but everything looks really nice there on the hood lights are all good not cloudy or anything like that so coming around here to the side the tires they're in good shape they're probably about half life you know or you know probably tread burned off of them or whatnot they still got some life they probably got another 10 15 thousand miles on them and it's a wheel cover there it's in good condition a little paint flow right there uh mirror caps are pearl white mirror cap looks really nice like i said these are kind of you know city cars really designed it's a perfect you know to me you know i'm not even an electric car guy per se but uh, i like these cars because you know to me this is what an electric car should be it's just something you know you can go point a to b go to work go to the store and uh you know it's a fun little car easy to park super economical super reliable you know it, you know that was expensive new but you know but used it's a really really great bargain i mean even if you got a loan for this car it's basically gonna be a free car because it's gonna pay for itself in fuel savings so looking down the side here, don't see much on this guy. There looks like there's some little, maybe previous touch-ups right there. But the car does shine really nice. I uh, love that pearl. It's like a pearl orange. <laughs> so cool. A little teeny bit of chrome peeling on the handle there. Not too bad. And you can like, see some of the swirls there. If you were to, you could polish this thing out and it would look nice. panel so looking at across the quarter here tail lights are nice wheel covers got a little bit of curb rash on it like I said, nothing too crazy there's your tires again this thing is a hundred and uh, 112 horsepower and 147 foot-pounds of torque I believe when I looked it up there so a lot of torque out of this little guy it's a lot of fun like i said i've had every kind of fiat 
And uh, I think around town, this thing's more fun than an A-Barth, you know, just because it's just got that instant 100% torque at zero RPM. There's our tail lights, rear bumper, a little, few little loading scratches on it. A little uh, touched up scratch right there. The rear of a lance panel looks pretty decent. Little scruff there. But <laughs> would be a fun little car, like I said. It, it could use a little polishing on it, but like I said, we're driving it every day, so we're just gonna enjoy it like it is. Look at the little pearl spoiler, that's <laughs> so cool. It's nice across the roof there. Here's where you charge it up. Boom, and then I guess I'll go ahead and show you this here right now while I'm here. Uh, there's the little charger. And like I said, it's got uh, 110 adapter, 240 on the end of it there. Seats fold down, actually make a lot of space back here. These cars actually have a lot of room. A little cubby hole right here just to hide your personal items. This is just a little gap filler right there so you can't see in, in this area. We've got the uh, nice little carrying case for that too at the house. But in a nice little padded, carpeted interior. These cars, really quiet, really, really nice. Hey, how do you guys like our new tag frames? <laughs> we just got those in, so anybody that buys a car gets a tag frame with it. Looking here at the rear wheel. A few little minor imperfections, not much. Again, these tires are probably two thirds gone, I would say. But they probably got about 10,000 miles left. A little ding right there on the door, as you can see. The rest of the door looks pretty nice. Rocker is good. Look back the other direction. A couple little door marks there. Those will probably buff out. There's a little scuff on the mirror cap on this side. That's about it for that. This wheel cover up here has a pretty good little mark on it. That might polish off. It looks like some paint applied itself to the wheel cover there. So I'm showing you everything here. Little water spots there from washing it. So let's go check out the steam white interior. This is where it gets super, well, the whole car is super cool in my opinion, <laughs> but love, love, love this interior. Check this out. The interior on this car is near mint too. It is just immaculate. Here, let me give you just this overview shot of this. It is just so cool. I just love it. Steam white with the electric orange accents and the seats are basically perfect condition i mean they don't even have any bolster wear any stitching wear anything like that and then here you can see the mileage 41 620 and that will go up here's our tires there's the warning label there here's our venting all right Check out our steering wheel. Even the steering wheel is just super, super clean. You'd expect that to, you know, there's a little teeny bit of wear over the center of it right there, but otherwise it is really nice. Got the factory floor mats in really nice shape. Carpets are perfect underneath. Even our armrests are really nice. I'm gonna slide in here. The radio sounds super good. We've got a little push button wear there on reverse and drive, which you'd kind of expect. That's gets pushed a lot but automatic climate control ac is ice cold on this car it does have traction control there's a lot of options i'll kind of show you these cars come standard with a lot of features be sure to check out the uh, photo gallery picture gallery on our website you know there'll be uh, i got actually uh, uh, screenshots of the uh, window sticker on the car and it shows just these cars basically come loaded and uh really the paint and interior uh uh, exterior, those, th those are kind of really the only two options. It's about $900 too, the option for the paint and the interior. Pretty darn cool. Great little place to store your drinks, phone, charger right there. The phone syncs up there, Bluetooth, satellite, Sirius, all that good stuff. Cruise control, steering wheel controls. The interior on this thing is literally just mint condition. There is the factory glove box, or factory owner's manual. Go ahead and show you the 
back seat here. And you can actually sit four adults in this thing. Um, you need to move the seat up a little bit. And it does get a little bit tight, but it is definitely doable. But I just love these seats and the orange headrests. Super cool. And it's got floor mats in the back too. We're not going to crawl back there and check out our armrests. Not even any wear or soiling on the armrests. Pretty awesome. And I love this little pattern, little dotted pattern here. Super cool. <laughs> Looks like something from the Gucci edition. Let's go around the other side. All right, we're over here on the passenger side. Again, super cool color and it just absolutely immaculate condition. Just, I just love the way the interior looks. When I saw the interior of this car, I had to have it. But there's your console. And I like that it's kind of, they call it steam white. It's just a little bit of an off white, which is kind of nice because it's gonna, you know, really show good, you know, it looks better than just straight up white. Plus it's gonna wear better, but absolutely zero flaws on this interior. And here's the headliner, black. No issues on the headliner. <laughs> All right, let's do the favorite part. Let's go take it for a spin. Or I guess before I do that here, I'll show you under the hood real quick. All right, we got the hood open, but there's not much to see or do here. Uh, just pretty much here it houses all the stuff. There's our, that's cooling for the uh, electric motors and the battery and stuff. It does run uh, water cooling for that. There's a little emission sticker, but you can kind of see everything there. It's super clean. And one thing that we did do, it had the original, uh, so it runs a 12 volt battery for the accessories. I'll go ahead and pop this up here so you can kind of see that. Um, this just pops right off here. And so a little dusty under here, but we went to Chrysler Fiat and got a brand new 12 volt accessory battery. That's about all we've had to do to this guy. So there is underneath the motor compartment, <laughs> no engine in this car. All right, let's go drive. All right, Becky and I are in the 500E. Yep. And uh, here we go. So silent drive. I remember Becky, you ordered a bunch of hats the other day, Euro yes. Asian hats, and they just had all kinds of sorted hats and colors. Yes. And there was an orange. I'm like, what am I ever gonna wear an orange <laughs> hat? You know what I mean? Yeah. And then I'll be darned if this. Uh, this I, jewel didn't show I was up. doing a video today, and I was looking at our hat selection. I'm like, well. It's orange hat day. Yes, it is. Finally came. I'm telling you. So we are in the 500E, and this little thing just drives perfect. The interesting thing, though, about electric cars is there's no exhaust, transmission, no, you know, no engine noise or anything like that. So you hear more things like tires and any little door squeaks or anything like that. Uh, this car is really tight. Here we go. We'll kind of give it some throttle. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> this little sucker. This is just a fun little car but uh yeah so it, it just runs and drives perfect like i said you can hear a little bit of tire noise they actually make tires specific for evs now and they put like foam inside of them and stuff like that uh this has some continentals on it you know they're they're in good condition but they're not new or anything so they're um you know that's about the only thing you really hear on the car but uh the car runs and drives fantastic no issues uh, we put a, uh, a new 12 volt uh, uh, systems battery in it, just like a standard car battery. But other than that, I mean, this thing charges up to 90 some uh, miles of charge. And uh, yeah, we drive this thing, it's actually, keep it at the house and we drive this thing back and forth to work. And uh, Becky drives it to go to the bank, the errands, you know, it's just our little, whatever we need to jump in and go, yep. we get in and go. But, uh, but it just absolutely, so we get up here and it just, it's a quick little car. It just gets up like, boom, that's 60 miles an hour right there. Yeah, super fast. Yeah, it is quick, but no issues with the car. It's super quiet and just runs fantastic. There's not much to, to talk about. It's only got 41,000 miles on it. 
Um, you know, don't have to talk about oil changes, don't have to talk about transmission, don't have to talk about, you know, any of that stuff. It's just, uh, just get plug in. Plug it in. And plug, in plug, plug it in, plug it in. Plug it in. <laughs> but it just runs out great. Um, it's kind of nice, you know, get, we get home with this car and then we find, uh, you know, when you turn the car off, it tells you what your range was or whatever. And uh, it's like 150 MPGE, it seems like when I get out of the car. Yeah. You know, so just absolutely crazy economy, economy yeah. you know. And this, to me, this is what makes sense on a uh, electric car. It's just a small little commuter car. And, uh, but here we go. <laughs> it's just, it's just so much fun. Just snap your head back. Yeah, it does. It just gets up and goes. It's just, you know, you got it the other day and it was running. You had a bunch of errands to do and oh, zipping yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you just you fit anywhere. You just zip around. Just, yep. I mean, it's just so easy to drive around. And it just, it's easy to park. It's mm -hmm. quick. You can get in and out of, mm -hmm. and you're not going to lose any uh, stoplights. You need to get around somebody, yep. you know. This is the second one. We actually had one of these, uh, and it was the flip-flop, the reverse of this. It was the pearl white with the orange accents. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and mm -hmm. that was, we actually had one, and, and we were like, this is really cool, and we were driving that thing, uh, but and then we sold it, like, right away. Remember, mm -hmm. we sold it, like, uh, like yeah. the day yeah, we listed we it or something. Yeah, get to drive it. I yeah. know, and then you just don't see these any, mm -hmm. anymore, or you just don't see them around, especially this part of the country, mm -hmm. but uh, when I saw this one, I was like, oh, here we go, and then this orange the color. color. is just the scheme. With, with the, the white, white interior. interior. It's I just know. the best. It I mean, I can't so think of a better scheme awesome. for this. But yeah, I mean, as far as like, you know, the suspension's great, the brakes, there's really nothing to do. I mean, you know, you might put some new tires on it and, you know, 10,000 miles or so, right. but that's probably about it. I mean, it's just a happy, and then the stereo sounds fantastic. Yeah, a little sting, little police there. But the uh, it's got like a six speaker stereo system, like 275 watts or something like that. So it actually has a kind of an upgraded stereo system. But we <laughs> so you're like a little go kart. Yeah, it's like a you know just kind of a little go kart. But well, yeah, I mean there's nothing really to call out on this thing. Everything is good to go. And uh, like I said, we've driven this thing hundreds of miles already, and. I mean, the, the battery, the health of the battery is great. The range is great, you know, and, and when you drive it, you know, the miles kind of drop consistent with the, uh, with what it shows on your range. Um, obviously when you run in the stereo and the AC and all that stuff, you know, it, it drops it down a little bit. So, you know, the, your mileage is going to vary depending on your, <laughs> your usage or whatever. You have a hard time holding the phone probably, yes, I'm guessing. Yeah. I know I'm having too much fun, Right. but, uh, yeah, individual results may vary. Right, yeah, depending on <laughs> You know, your you could probably style. get a 100 miles uh, to a range, you know, if you just drove it super easy, you know, and if you didn't have the air conditioning and stuff on, you know. That wouldn't be you, though, driving it. You just have to have I don't know. I was following, it every, I was every... following you home the other night, and you were like, every stoplight, you were like pulling 10 car lengths on me. I don't even think you realized it, <laughs> uh -huh. you know. I mean, just put the foot down, and whatever yeah. happens, happens, yeah. and that's what happened. It actually has traction control. Um, it I, yeah, it actually has traction control. I I, uh, I didn't turn it off, and it still squeals the tires. I'm afraid that if you turned it off, it would probably just roast the tires. Yeah. But uh, so much fun. I mean, we've had so many Fiat 500s. You know, just every kind of configuration you can imagine, and we've had, even had a lot of Abarths. And uh, I tell you what, for just driving around town, I I actually prefer this to an Abarth. You know, it just for its intended purposes. You know, for just commuting. You know. So I turned the traction control off just now. Okay. So we'll give it a, we'll have to give it a uh, Euro Asian Bob launch here. Yes. Well, this is on bricks. I don't know what's going to do on bricks, but. You're still kind of on, on asphalt here. Yeah, we'll see. Partially. So we can see what it does here. You ready? Yeah, I guess. Yep. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> it's still spinning. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my gosh. I was driving the other day and there was a guy at a stoplight and he was just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was just giving me thumbs up and everything. And, uh, but yeah, anyway, we're just having fun with this whole thing. I think uh, whoever gets this car next, we keep this at our house, so um, be sure to message uh, to set up an appointment because uh, we kind of keep it at the house, not at the shop because it was 
while we have this thing, we're going to be driving it, and so the mileage will go up. But, uh, but hey, I appreciate you riding along. Hit the like and subscribe if you would, and, uh, and then hit that notification button too, because that way when we get a new car uploaded, you'll be one of the first to see it, because you never know when we might find your next dream car. Have a great day, and happy motoring. Say bye, Becky. Bye-bye.